Get ready to get spooked with Edinburgh's birding Edinburgh Birding Center's Zombie Survival Series. They're mixing education with the best of the season to help you survive a zombie apocalypse. We have Marisa Oliva and Monica Barrera here to explain this morning. Thank you so much, ladies, for being here with us. Thank you for having us. And this sounds like a very interesting series, especially for some older kids out there because they'll get to learn not just about nature, but they'll also get to see some exciting uh, sights. Tell us about it. Well, we have this wonderful event. Um, we're actually doing our third series this week, a third of the four-part series, where we are teaching about these wonderful nature lessons that all of us should know whether or not we have a zombie apocalypse. Um, but we also, of course, make it fun with having zombies out there and and we're also uh, we have scientists who are yeah. studying the zombies so it's a lot of fun and uh, kids and adults come out they learn a lot of different lessons on how to survive in the outdoors um, and at the end of it we're going to have a, a trial where they actually have to go through a challenge and if they survive they actually get tickets to Horicon. Um, or they get a chance for tickets to the Horicon convention. And you know what's so great about this is that you never know when you're going to end up in a real life situation where you need to know uh, what the difference is between maybe a poisonous plant, a regular plant. Uh, tell us more about some of the different specifics that they'll be learning. Okay, so um, in this program coming up, we're going to be uh, covering topics uh, such as um, astronomy, animal tracking. So in the astronomy, they're going to be um, touching points and learning on how to guide themselves through the night by using mm -hmm. the night sky. Um, and then through animal tracking, they're going to learn how to identify different animal tracks and see how they can find animals that they can possibly eat or animals that can guide them to water, things like that. Or animals that could possibly uh, take your life as well. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to stay away from those tigers and lions and bears, right? <laughs> yeah. um, where is this going to be? What are the dates? And what, what can they learn in the next two specific uh, series in the series? Sure. So um, the next one we're having is on uh, this Thursday on the 10th. It's going to be from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Edinburgh World Birding Center. It is a free event. We're sponsored by the South Texas Horicon and also by South Texas Votec. Uh, the last one is actually the test and that's going to be on the 24th. That's going to be mm -hmm. from 6 to 9. We're going to have all sorts of different scenarios. A little bit like the gaming world where we have uh, things called witches and, and a lot of other stuff they're going to come across come across uh, during the event, uh, but they have to use their survival skills and they have to use the knowledge they have, such as the poisonous plants they learned about, the medicinal plants, which one will get you to where you need to go. Ooh, that sounds like it's pretty interesting, especially, you know, the tween set, because you said you don't want any kids below 12 years old because there, is, there are some things there that are going to be pretty scary. Mm -hmm. Right, right, yeah, we don't want um, kids to get a little traumatized with nature, <laughs> but we do want to attract an audience um, or at least more of an audience and, and also attract people who may otherwise not have um, been attracted to these this type of informa information. Um, so it's definitely a good program with a fun twist to it. Yeah, and it sounds like lots of fun. Thank you ladies so much yeah. for being here with us this morning. And of course, you can get all these details by heading to valleycentral.com. Mary.